Hey folks, welcome to another numeracy video. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to calculate interquartile range. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so interquartile range, what's the difference between interquartile range and range? Now with range, we're looking at the highest number minus the lowest number. For interquartile range, we're looking at upper quartile minus lower quartile. So if you look at question one, we actually need to find um, the upper quartile and lowest quartile, lower quartile first before we can actually work out the interquartile range. So to work this out, I need to order these numbers in, in ascending order. So we've got 5, 17, 24, 31, 34, 42, and 50. Now looking at it, the median is the middle. If you're not sure of how I got the median, uh, feel free to go and check the previous videos in this series because they go through thoroughly how to find the median and lower quartile. So in this case, the median is 31, which means my lower quartile is going to be the middle of that first half. So in this case, the lower quartile is 17 and upper quartile is 42. So therefore, my interquartile range, which is also known as IQR, is equal to upper quartile minus lower quartile. So I've got 42 take away 17, which equals to 25. Now, looking at question number two, I have arranged this in ascending order. So our first step is, well, the thing is with interquartile range, you don't really need to find the median. You just need to find the lower quartile and upper quartile, um, or at least know how to find it. Now, if I look at it, I've actually got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten numbers. So I'm going to separate it with five apiece. And I can kind of pick off straight away which the middle number of that first half is, because the middle number in that case is 12, which is my lower quartile, and 24, which happens to be the upper quartile. Now, if you do want to find the median, which I know we're not covering that, but to find the median, that's between 14 and 17. So we're going to add up 14 and 17 and divide it by 2. So we're going to get 31 divided by 2, which equals to 15.5. Now that's what the median is. But we want to actually work out what interquartile range is. So that is upper quartile minus lower quartile. We've got 24 take away 12, which is going to give us an interquartile range of 12. Now, folks, that's just a quick little video to show you folks how to calculate interquartile range. All right, folks, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Now, there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here. Great material for revision. And as always, thank you for watching.